Welcome back, Vikings. I'm Monty Wagner. And I'm Camille Ravar. And we are here to bring you the news you need to know, want to know, and should know to get you through your week. Today, the Video Game Club is hosting a Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Doubles Tournament starting at 3 in the library. For more information and to sign up, see Mr. Cockle in room 215. Are you a high school senior who wants free cash? All you need to do is click on the Class of 2022 Schoology course and apply for the Puyallup High School Alumni Association Scholarship. The deadline is April 15th. To be eligible for this scholarship, you must be planning or attending a trade or technical school next fall. We now send it over to Anju Wagner and Dylan Buckler as they share with us a behind the scenes look at DECA's journey to state. The biggest thing about DECA is it prepares emerging leaders and entrepreneurs in marketing, finance, hospitality, and management in high schools and colleges around the globe. Um, everyone in this community is very tight knit and kind to each other and we're all working to become better people. So it depends. Some schools are based off of clubs. Uh, however, our school is co-curricular, so you have to take a business marketing class or an accounting class to be in DECA. Um, during January and December is when we have area competitions. That's when you take an exam, potentially based on your event, and then you'll go on to role plays or you'll do a presentation, again, based off of your event. and if you get a high enough score compared to all of the others in the area, then you head on to state and it continues on to the state level and then international level. For role plays, basically what happens is you take your exam based off uh, the career cluster. So for me, I was uh, individual entrepreneurship series. That was my event. So I took the entrepreneurship exam and then you take uh, at area, you take one role play. At state, you take two role plays. Um, you're given different scenarios. So for entrepreneurship, you're given like a small business scenario. You're like a small owner. The judge has their own position and you have to problem solve like one main task. And then there's certain performance indicators that you have to talk about during that uh, prep time and then on to actual presentations. For Written proposals, which can be 10 to 20 pages, um, those take a lot of time, but they are so worth it. You feel so proud after you're done, but you have your full written proposal. Once it's accepted, it goes straight to state. It doesn't go to area competition, which is really nice. And then you present for about 15 minutes in front of a judge. So my business plan was a pitching softball and baseball facility um, in Puyallup, Washington, because I felt like that was something we needed. Um, also, it's super inclusive, so female and male players are all included and no one gets like kicked out or has to work out outside, especially in Washington with the weather. Um, that often happens, so we basically ran all the numbers through an Excel document to make sure that it would be successful, and then we created a board and presented it to judges. I plan on doing something in the community, um, something to make money but also helps people. Um, I really find it, like I find it super interesting, so I definitely think that's a good route career path. And for anyone else interested, I also think it's great. So my role play was a little bit different than the other ones because I competed for accounting. And um, so my role play had like a specific answer that I had to get, while the other ones were just like, you come up with the best solutions and the judge would like just grade you based on, on the, the solution that you provided. We had the, like three different types of things we were so like what we did like business casual and business professional so like on the the day of the competition like when you're going you just wear like slacks dress shoes uh, blazer and tie and then like when it went out you just wear slacks and then find out i'd say the biggest thing about it is i'm able to like spread the word about deca in our area and represent us and we have like really awesome students in our area and stuff like that so it's really great to be able to do that. Um, I also get to run the social media page and do those things so it's exciting and then help out with the team however I can. So if you plan on doing DECA like I absolutely would sign up. The teachers Mrs. Root is like amazing 
and they support you through everything. And almost every person I've met um, through DECA is super nice and supportive, and they're just working to set you up for your future. So I definitely recommend. New job opportunities available. Just check the employment folder in the materials section in Schoology for several new job opportunities, including Spring Fair employment. And now over to the sidelines with Allie Larkin. Hello Vikes and welcome back to the sidelines. We're starting our spring sports season off strong as all of our teams were able to take the dub. Boys soccer beat Lake Stevens 2-1 and crushed the Rogers Rams 2-0. Girls tennis swept Sumner and Olympia in their matches this past week. Boys baseball defeated Bellarmine 5-0. Girls water polo destroyed Emerald Bridge 16-2. Track also performed well in their meet against Curtis where Micah Bach set a new school record of 10.63 in the 100-yard dash. Thanks for joining me on the sidelines, and good luck to all of our Viking athletes. Thank you for watching this week's episode of VNN. Stay Purple Vikes. Stay Purple Vikes. Stay Purple Vikes. Stay Purple Vikes.